Today I am going to talk a little bit about bugles. Bugles are pretty much the basic form of a modern brass instrument. I say modern, they've been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. You might see uh, bugles similar to the one that I played in Anzac Day a few years ago that looked like this. These are the sort of bugles that uh, military bands used to use for calls, for commands and so forth. Um, but they're not the sort of bugles that I'm going to be talking about. No, the sort of bugles I'm going to be talking about are ones like this and ones like this. First bugle that I want to talk to you guys about is this one. This is a cheap brass, well, is it brass? It might be paper mache painted silver uh, bugle, similar to what you can buy on Trade Me or eBay or whatever for not very much. It's a Chinese made bugle and the first and third harmonics which should be at perfect octaves are not even in tune with itself. And that should be a perfect octave, but it isn't. So the good thing is, this isn't the only bugle that I have. I recently acquired this. This is a bugle that is not in the key of B flat, but it is in the key of G with a horizontal piston valve which puts it into the key of D. So it is actually in the same pitch as the old style G bass trombones. That being said, there isn't actually a relationship between these and G bass trombones. Now these instruments were developed uh, from the original forms of bugles which were in the key of G and they simply added valves to make this uh, a little bit more a, uh, a little bit more useful because with bugles traditionally the only ranges of notes that you can get are what we call the harmonic series but when we add a little valve into the mix we can suddenly have two harmonic series so we can have the first one as I've just played to you and we can also have the second one which is in the key of D and so forth. By adding those two different harmonic series together we have a large number of notes available to us and we can actually play something like a scale. Now in standard military processes you don't need really any more notes in the harmonic series. All major well-known bugle calls are based on about the first uh, five or so notes of that harmonic series. The last post, the rouse, the reveille, the ones that we play here in America and uh, here in New Zealand on ceremonial occasions uh, and the ones that you hear over in America like taps and faucets and, and whatever other ones there are not particularly knowledgeable about them, they only use the harmonic series. However, in America there is a phenomenon called the drum and bugle core. And although I am by no means an expert on this, what they do is they have many different sizes bugles. They have these ones, they have ones an octave lower and another one an octave lower again. And they use these valves to uh, make a wider range of music than what you could if you were just sticking to the harmonic series. Now there was, a, there is, believe it or not, a lot of regulation that goes around the American drum and bugle core. They started off all in the key of G without any valves or anything like that but they decided that that was a bit boring so they added valves that put the instrument from G into D and they got uh, a wider range of notes as a response to that. They then changed it so they had the valve that went from G into F and then some of them had a valve and a rotary valve that gave them two, uh, three different harmonic series. Then they had two piston valves, some of them had two piston valves and then a rotary valve and then finally you end up with what they've got today which is instruments that are not actually even in the key of G anymore. Most major drum and bugle calls use standard brass instruments, standard marching brass instruments with three piston valves in the normal configuration. So instead of using something like this which would be called a soprano bugle, they'll actually use a B flat trumpet something like this. Now these instruments are very similar in comparison, they're about the same height, um, 
they use the same mouthpiece, the bore's the same, the bells are very similar. Uh, but of course the key differences is, this is in B flat and has three valves, this is in the key of G and has one valve. Now the only other marching brass instrument that I have is this one here, which is my mellophone in the key of F. Um, and they, f they find their place in the modern drum and bugle corps as the only instrument that isn't in the key of B flat. I'm actually wanting to increase my collection of these sorts of bugles because I find them fascinating. Here in New Zealand we are only familiar really with uh, three piston valve instruments or four. Um, we don't really see instruments that are, have horizontal valve, well horizontal if I hold it like this. Um, and so it is quite interesting to me. So I've been scaring eBay and so forth when, uh, when time allows and yeah, I may one day produce a video where I have more instruments in it. But until then, this is the bugle. This is the soprano bugle that I have in the key of G and D. Thanks for watching.